Someone did something! Really do. Welcome back to a, uh, a very cold garage. It is zero degrees, it has been snowing a little bit. Uh, and I'm supposed to be starting the next video, which will be the uh, soundproofing of my van. But because it's so bloody cold, I can't actually do it because the material won't stick because it's so cold. <clears throat> so I haven't even started yet. You can see there is a bit of snow. Uh, inside the van is pretty empty and pretty echoey and it needs a really good clean. Uh, I need to carry on taking these bits and pieces out. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I need to fully clean all the inside the van and get rid of all the fuzz of where all the carpet glue's been and everything that you can currently see. Uh, yeah, but uh, I can't really do a lot at the moment because it's just gone Christmas Day. Well, I say Christmas just gone about the 28th now. Oh, no. That sign there, if I turn that round, Mild heating may be necessary if ambient temperature during installation is below 10 degrees. Now, I can put a heater on in my van, but that is going to take a lot. Oh, yeah, because it's all wet in here. Yeah. Because, it, yeah, it, I can't do anything yet because everything's damp, cold and wet. Yeah. Well, I best carry on pulling bits of trim out and at least make the van as empty as possible. And at some point, I'm going to have to clean it. So off camera, because I thought it'd be quite boring, I'd be washing out the floor. Now I swept it out uh, and then I've been in with a rag and I've wiped it all the best I can, a wet rag. The floor is still wet, still a little bit still stuck down. But I now need to wait for the floor to dry so I can hoover it up and get any last little bits out because it's just moving around and being stuck. But um, all that was brown before. Uh, I've all, I removed the plastic trims at the steps as well. They just need a good hoover out now. They were really dirty. They were really, really, really dirty, but um, they're clean. And then I've also used um, a gas flame torch thing that you use for like melting solder on there, you know, when you're doing like plumbing, to go around and melt all of the uh, fibres. So the, all the fibres are now melted to there. It means I get a, rough, a relatively smooth-ish panel now to stick to instead of like trying to stick it to a load of fluff because the fluff won't come off because it's all stuck to the carpet glue and everything that's everywhere as you can see so now I need to wait for the van to dry which I might just put the heater in the van but either way it's going to get dark now so I'm not going to be able to do any work so I might put the heater in the van in the morning dry the van out, hoover it and then actually start sticking the material down because then the van will be a bit warmer oh also on the back of that arch just there is a bracket which is used to uh, hold down the uh, uh, you know the jack that was actually under the seat um, but yeah hold the jack um, I don't need that so I'm going to cut that off and make that arch smooth so it looks like that one then it means I get a better finish with my carpet when I actually carpet it so yeah right I need to wait till tomorrow now and then just hoover it out so when I come back to the camera uh, this will be dry, hoovered clean, ready to start sticking a sand in them. I'm back in the old van. I've swept out all the back of the van and I've hoovered it all. It's time to uh, start sticking down my silent coat. So I have my silent coat. Whoa. I have scissors, I have more scissors, I can't eat them. I have a knife. I've got my heater on. As you can see, uh, I've also got my heat gun because it's still not warm enough in here. So I'm going to have to quickly warm up the panel with the heat gun, which will only take a couple of seconds of blasting over. Quick warm on the back of the actual silent coat glue itself to make sure it's nice and tacky. And then it will stick straight down. I'm going to start in the corners and I'm going to do the floor, mainly because the floor has lots of holes in it. So I figure if I can cover up the holes first, the holes that go straight down to the ground. You know, I can see the floor. I cover them up, that's going to help, hopefully, hold some of the heat in a bit better. I mean, saying that heat does rise, so obviously it's not really going to go out them holes. But, you know, in my mind, if I fill them holes, it will be a bit better. 
so let's go ahead and have a quick look at the silent coat I've also got my roller up there as well which I'm sure you'll see me using at some point oh, I didn't actually pick it, there we go and here is the silent coat sheets there's 40 sheets per box and I have two boxes uh, there we go we can see it's about two mil thick but it's nice shining back in and it oh wow well, it's, it's got a bitumen cover it's very cold so I'm definitely have to warm it up to me if I warm it up it makes it a little bit more malleable as well so I'll be able to bend it a bit better into the corners so I am going to get myself set up and I'm going to put my first sheet down in the corner so I can see how well it's going to stick before I even continue with the rest of this video uh, and I'll go from there and there I have my first piece stuck down uh, what I did is I warmed up the floor with my heat gun because I don't think there's enough heat coming from a heater so the floor is still very cold uh, and I warmed up the back of the um, bitumen style glue that's on the back, back of the black stuff uh, and then put it down and literally rolled it everywhere the more of this you can get touching the floor the better it's going to do its job probably should have done a bit of a sound test really you know that would be a good bit to do you know, a before and then we'll stick one down afterwards and get a before and after on it so this stuff apparently you don't need to stick everywhere but I will be sticking all of the floor, covering all of the floor, and then all of the back of the van will get covered. Then when I go up to the front and start doing the front floor, that's where it might start getting a bit patchy, um, but we'll see. So every piece of skin like that, that's definitely going to be fully covered. Um, not that it needs it, but because that's what I want to do. The roof's already got sound ending on, but I'm still going to cover the whole lot. In between all of them beams will be fully covered. So it'll be silver, 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 all the way down, all the way up to the front as well. Because why not? Provided I've got enough material to do it, then that's my plan. So I suppose I need to work out, because I only have 80 sheets, uh, what, what do I want to do first, which is all the floor, all of the outside panels, you know, these panels on, on the sides and all of the roof and then I'll work up to the front so I'm going to go up to where the seat belts are and then I'll move on to like the doors and the walls and the roof before I go up into the front of the footwell that's my plan probably the wrong way around probably should have done the front first because then I can put all my seats in the carpet and that back in but I've started now I have one sheet down and 79 to go let's set up a camera so I have my next sheet I'm going to stick it next to this panel that was just done Warm everything up. So I messed up a little bit there because I should have um, should have squashed it into this ridge first. You, know, you live and learn. That's why I've ripped the uh, foil back in. But what I'll do is I'll stick a little patch over that, and you'll never know.
Well, I don't even need to stick a patch over it because I'm sticking insulation over the top of it anyway, so I probably should take my keys off because you're going to whinge at the jingling. That is our second patch done. I'm just going to trim that little corner off there just so I'm going around that seam seal edge just there. Time for the next one. I've got four pieces down at the moment. As you can see, I've been trimming off around the top. Might just trim a little bit more there. Just to get it a bit better with that line. I patched that up. Not that I needed to, but uh, I patched it up. Keep seeing bits that I need to push down, but I'll do this. Well, I don't even know. I don't think I'm gonna do the corners yet because I might make them up with patches. Um, I might just work my way down with the square edges. Uh, but four in, it is very hot in the van. Not that the van's hot, because I'm hot. Because <laughs> I'm doing everything with the heat gun and the heater. But good God, I need to go and cool down. Um, it's sticking down rather well, I will admit. I'm very impressed with the stuff. I'm glad I bought the roller that came with it. It was like 12 quid or something, but it was worth it. Because that just helps push everything down. I've just cut my finger, that's great. <laughs> yeah, be careful of the aluminium edges. I've, uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that through, did I? Crack me, this is gonna be a long ass job. I've been at it maybe nearly an hour and I've got 10, 11 sheets down. So I'm gonna put some of this on camera. I'm gonna put some of this on time-lapse and some of this you're just not gonna see because it's probably gonna take me at least 10 hours, genuinely, to do this. Um, so I'll just keep updating with bits and bobs that I've done. I think that's probably the best way. Otherwise you get very bored. I just want to point out that I've just done the corners, both sides. What I actually did is I used one of the offcuts, made a template, trimmed it out and dropped it in. That made life a lot easier. I've also been using this board as well, just to sit and shimmy around on. Uh, yeah, this is where I'm at. I'm, 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 I'm here. I've, I've done two foot into the van. And I'm just going to work my way down. And it's gradually getting darker, so I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to do today because I don't have any lights in the van. So, all I've done is I've hooked up my radio and I have the radio plastic in. And that's that, really. What else can I do? Some of the materials I'm going to have to stick on in a bit are going to be awful. I'm getting very condensated in here as well. I'm going to get dripped on when I get down here. So, this is all I've managed to do so far in nearly two hours. Um, not great, but. I only have probably 80% of the van still to do. So two hours of 20%, I still have at least another eight hours to go. I'm hoping the sides will be easier though, because they're flatter. These ridges are a pain in the ass because you have to keep squashing it in, but we're getting there. So this is the next day and it's been snowing. In fact, it's still trying to snow. So this is gonna be very cold in the van. This lovely fresh snow. Hmm, gonna be a cold day. I think I've shown you what we'd achieved yesterday. Uh, maybe a third of the floor. A third in two hours. Oh, just trying to get oh, somewhere comfy. There's nowhere as comfy in this van at the moment. Oh, right, so I've done another layer, as in that way, as you can see, I need to go into the corners now. I thought I would start to uh, do that arch because uh, why not uh, then that side is done this side I can't do just yet because I need to drill off that little bracket there in the middle of the screen so um, I know some people are going to ask for like a sound comparison so I'm going to try and whoa, show you the best I can with tapping my uh, roller so this is what one sounds like with no sound adding on And this one with this little bit. Oh, that's a better, do that one. And that's only got one sheet on there. So let's try the floor. So if I, uh, a nice flat bit here, and we do that flat bit. 
than this bit. It's much more solid. You can just hear a massive difference already. Um, I'm really quite impressed. But uh, it's a slow procedure and I want to stick it on time lapse, I really do. And you probably see a little bit of time lapse. But it's that slow. Even the time lapse is going to be crap. So, yeah. The arch I'm making up with, I've stuck one big sheet on. And then the rest I'm doing is like patchwork quilt around. Because that's the way I'm going to cover it the best without having lots of wastage because all these little bits I can stick back on so that's what I'm currently doing and I've cut my hand again so you know I'm, I'm, I'm doing well today doing well anyway I'm gonna go back and put my radio on so. I've used one full box and I've managed to make it you can see there's a couple under my leg and then it goes around to here and yeah one arch and more than three quarters of the floor for one box sounds like I've used quite a lot I probably have, but I know when I'm doing the walls, I'm doing this bit and that bit, not this, not this bit. So, and the roof, it's the bits in the middle. So, but I still think I'm going to potentially use all of the materials that I bought. Excuse me, one sec. There we go. Yeah, I might end up using everything I bought. I may have to buy more, but if I have to buy more, I have to buy more. I want it to be the best I can possibly do myself. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the house now, mainly because my knees are killing me. I'll take my knee pads off. And the other box is in the garage anyway. So that's me done for today. I'm five hours in. Five hours. <laughs> oh my God. Five hours is a long time to be doing this. Hopefully when I finish up this bit of floor, um, I might do a bit of time lapse just to finish the floor. I haven't done the front. I don't even know how, how to do the front yet and how much to use in the front. Um, but I know it's something I want to do. I want to get right up into them them wells. I oh, see there's some on that side, but none on that side. Bizarre, isn't it? I shall come back to you but tomorrow now. Definitely tomorrow. It's getting dark now. Welcome back to a cold van. <laughs> it is now dark and I've jerry-rigged a couple of those spotlights to try and light up the inside of the van. And to be fair, Four of those spotlights do light it up quite well. I'm quite impressed with them. Uh, so, I've just removed this bracket. I probably should have filmed it, but it's dark and I'm just trying to get cracked on. Uh, I used a, a 5mm drill bit, followed by a 9mm drill bit, and drilled out the spot welds. And then obviously the plate just came off with a bit of persuasion from my friend just here. Um, so yes, I'm now going to crack on with this arch. Uh, I have now got to use my next box and I've made the uh, calculations in my head that two boxes is not enough for how much coverage I'm doing. So I've still got, I'm going to cover the floor fully all the way up to the foot wells. Now, now I'm in the mindset I'm going to buy another box. I'm going to fully cover that which is going to use a good amount of the new box. And then I've still got to obviously do the, the big panels on the sides and then the big panels on the roof. Um, so I'm definitely going to need a third box and to be fair online it does say two to three boxes depending on how much you want to cover Now I'm going for maximum effort in terms of sound ending. I don't want to do this job once I don't want to think I've done a half ass job and want to do more So I'm doing it the best I can do it So I'm going to use more and going to end up buying a third box So I'm going to carry on off camera by doing this arch uh, And it's freezing I've got my little heater on I've got my heat gun and everything with me And I'm just going to get cracked on so um, I will see you a bit later in the video when I've probably done the arch and whatever else I'm doing. And we're on day whatever now. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do the front of the floor today. I want to get it right up and up as far as I can get it. Uh, I'm going to cut strips out across the back here and then I'm going to put strips in the middle of all the bolts and then I'll go from the other side of the bolts. I don't really want to put any extra material of where the seat base sits so I'm going to go with like inside the seat base and just behind it and just in, in front of it. Um, I don't want any issues with seat fitting. I know it's only 2 mil, but you never know. So I'll do a strip up to here and then I'll do a bit from here to out there 
and then I'll do from the other side up. So there'll just be a little slither in the middle of nothing. But in the grand scheme of things, that's not going to make any difference because obviously this stuff is uh, fantastic and you only need about 70% coverage to get near enough the best results. And I'm going for a hell of a lot more than 70% coverage, so we'll be fine. So I'm going to continue now uh, and I'm going to get this front floor down uh, and hope for the best. I finished the floor! Look at it! Yeah! So, I still have a couple of little pieces left that I might just stick up. I've noticed a little patch that I can do up in the top of there. But I've done patchwork quilt down there, patchy bits under the seat, and then I've done up into the uh, footwells. I reckon I've got a good 70% plus coverage there, so I'm happy with that. The rest of the floor's done, and this is all I've got left. I only have 10 sheets left out of 80, so I need another box from everywhere else. <laughs> so I've used any two on the floor. Oh dear me. But it's good! Now I can move on to the next bit and I might be able to get off of my knees. Oh, yeah! And I have finished the floor of the van. And I'm going to show you what I've done. So, we have excused a few things that's on the floor. I'll get to them shortly. We have a whole shiny floor and two arches. They're both shiny. Uh, and then up to the front, I made it a bit patchy around where the seat base goes, just so the seat base can sit comfortably with the floor. Uh, and then this is how I've done the instep. So it's just pieces that are on just to help. And then up into the wells. Same again on that side. A little bit different because of the pedals and then as you can see it's patchwork again in there just like that one yeah so uh, I was I normally do it at the beginning of a video of tools that you require but this is I'm gonna do it now <coughs> because this I've learned what I need so you have obviously a silent coat and I had an extension lead and a heater and a heat gun you may not require the heater but you may require the heat gun just to help warm up the adhesive. Uh, I also have a brush, I have a cloth just to wipe any areas, a couple of scissors because they're just different ones, um, knife and then this roller is by far the best tool. It cost me 12 quid and I thought it was really expensive for what it was but you know what it's really 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 helped squash everything in to the grooves. It's a bit noisy the squeak I will give you that but it is by far the best tool there. Uh, and I've also got some knee pads, because knee pads was helpful. And then last but not least, a little board, because I've been sat on the board. It's just a board that was already on one of the doors, one of the panels, but it's gave me a bit of comfort for my bum, and it's kept it off of the cold floor, so I've not felt the cold as much, because it has been cold. Now, originally when I started this video, I intended to do the whole van in a video, but this floor has took me about nine hours over four or five days now. Uh, and I haven't got enough material to do the sides because some of you are going to ask how much silent coat did I use so that is the bulk pack box I had two of them so that's 80 sheets and I only have eight sheets left so I've used 72 sheets on the long wheelbase floor and the archers including the front of the van now I've gone for a hundred percent coverage on the back of the floor and then I'm going to say anywhere between 70 and 90 percent coverage at the front um, it's probably closer to 90 to be fair, uh, 80 to 90 percent, because that is adequate for what I require. Very adequate, actually. Probably, I probably much more. I've covered more than I needed to, and there's not like there's any gaps between the sheets. <laughs> well, very rare. You might see a couple of mil gaps. I've I've really gone to town because I would done it for me. I'm not a consumer doing it for somebody else or something like that. And I'm trying to save a bit of money. I've splashed out. I bought the best stuff. I'm going to buy another box because I'm going to need another box and they're 80 quid a box but I'm going to go to Denning, uh, co UK where I got them from before and get a next day delivery sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so that is the floor done in my van. Only the walls and the roof to do but they will be less because I only have to do like the infills, solid panels and then I can go and start actually doing the insulation. 
So this video has now become how to uh, sound end your floor. Uh, I'd like to give a quick shout out to everyone who subscribes to the channel, uh, all the new people that's coming for the van content. I'm, I really appreciate you liking the videos. Uh, make sure you like them and subscribe to see more van content. Uh, thank you to my guys over on Patreon. If you're interested in joining the Patreon business, there's a link in the description and you can come and check out the stuff I do over there and the tiers and the merch. And if you're really special, you could have a little crown on your name like uh, Nick Carwood uh, you'll see his name up at the end of the video with a little crown on it because he is my first Blue Ridge Garage royalty member <coughs> um, anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video I know it's a bit of a, an awkward one because all I've been doing is sticking a lot of stuff down but unfortunately a lot of time and effort has gone into this video not that you can really see it but thank you very much stay humble guys and I'll see you in another video soon take care something! Really do. <laughs>